What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cool Cool Kicks. We're back, back, and actually I'm still here from, from yesterday's video. But yeah, we're checking out some sneaker shops in downtown LA. Let's see what we find, you guys. Okay, only have a few minutes before they close. Yeah, oh shit, they're already closed. Never mind. on to the next one. Last couple times we did come here, they were closed. Now they're open. Yeah, let's go see what's up. See what they got here. So this is the Foot Locker. It's like a block away from Jumpman LA. Let's see. Let's start with the Jordan section. Wow. Oh, they got retros. What? That's awesome. What's going on here? These didn't sit right. They sold out almost everywhere. They must have gotten late shipments here or something. Because, yeah, I'm just hella surprised. Hella surprised to see these here. You can see the print throughout. Like the material underneath. There's like a like a canvas material, I guess, that you can rip off. It does have the plastic netting right there, which is a staple of the Jordan 5. It has an interesting, it has some interesting signs in the back, like so, some sort of Chinese character, something three. I don't know what that first one is. Is that a five? And a five and a three? I don't know. I don't know. Those of you guys that, that can read Chinese, let me know you guys. But yeah, these are dope. These are dope. They're going for 215 and they're here. I'm surprised. Do got the Bel Airs. I'm sure plenty of you guys are sick and tired of hearing me talking about the Bel Airs. These are dope though, man. <laughs> I'm still a fan of these. Leather, not the greatest, but not terrible. Like, I'm a fan of those. Starfish 13s. Um, that is dope to see, actually. That is actually super dope to see two different retro 13s here. That's just insane. When was the last time you seen that? That's dope. Um, which one do you guys like better? The, the green or the starfish or the orange i think i kind of like the green better still got these funky orange or peach ones and i got these lows and that's that's about it for the jordan section i say that's about it that's actually like one of the better door to jordan sections that we've seen within the last few months that's actually really dope yeah. all right let's see what's going on with the adidas and puma area i think all right i'm like is this thing normally going for if these are on sale for 55 what's the regular price? Oh, it's only $10 off. Okay, because I was like, are these worth it for 65 I don't know. I'm not a huge Van fan, but just paying that much for canvas sneakers just seems kind of excessive. I don't know. Got a whole lot of them down to 55 I guess they're all $10 off. We got these bad boys. These are the BMWs. And yeah, this is uh, the Future Rider. This is the Future Rider collab with BMW. They do have a bunch of the ones with the racing companies. I think the F1 racing companies, right? All right, these are normally what, buck ten? No, ninety dollars or twenty dollars off? Okay. The non-licensed ones. Oh, it's a, oh wait, yeah, yeah. These normally are eighty, so these are twenty dollars off as well. Dang, we were finding so many deals on the RSXs a while back. Dang, they're down back to regular price now. Huh? All right, we got some Puma basketball sneakers, the Clyde Hardwood. Yeah, I think this is Puma's first basketball sneaker, right? Yeah, down to 50 bucks. Normally like a buck ten or something, so these actually don't look that bad. Kind of look like Kobe ADs from the top. But yeah, they don't they actually don't look that bad. I'm not gonna lie. 50 bucks. Pretty pretty solid deal. Um they are kinda heavy though. They are kinda heavy because all the rubber right here on the side. But yeah, they look pretty nice, not bad. To be honest, I haven't really seen those too much. Got some more future riders. Point out off something. Foot locker. Not really not really talking about much with Adidas. Look at that dude. Did you guys see this on sneakers by the way? Because this was on sneakers and I'm like, we've been seeing these for like the last month at Foot Locker, so I don't understand how these just came out on sneakers. I don't know, that was weird. Alright, let's go see what's up with the Nikes over here. See what's going on. I had no clue that that many colorways of the new Vapor Max. I think a majority of them are the ones with the, what is that called? The, the fast fit system. Pretty much all of them are with the fast fit system except that, that fly knit one right there. So you got a couple of Air Max Plus 3 so for 100 bucks. Normally they're like 160 or something. Yeah, 190, okay. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of the look. But those are $90 off, holy crap, that's not bad. Air Max 90s, AKA Air Max 3s. They got a big selection, not bad. None of them are on sale though, man. Look it up with the sale. They are organized really well because all the Air Max 97s are right here all together. That's actually pretty dope. I'm not digging any of those colorways, to be honest. 
and they're all regular price too so that's like two minuses in my, in my book so you got the 2090s are here most of them going for regular price though so you got a couple on sale a bread colorway right there and then these go for 70 dollars we've seen this colorway at the outlets too though i don't know what price they were but we have seen those at the outlets told you they got everything um told you they got everything all organized all perfectly the air max plus is right there air max 95 these are 30 dollars off it's like a canvas material different colors not too bad not too bad i don't think this is like the recycled one is it i don't know maybe it might be i don't remember but yeah these aren't bad a little a little high for my blood though the vapor max plus section right here Hirachi section right there damn i've never seen everything so so organized wow they only have one air max 270 decent deal though not bad the jaw rides but nobody really talks too much about the jaw rides elements not too bad 80 bucks for those and then 50 for these i think this is the one that we have seen on sale like everywhere the one with the light green midsole yeah we've seen these on sale everywhere infinity run react section dang i'm just so surprised how how organized everything is tailwinds right here we got some very solid price on the tailwinds what did these normally go for oh they normally go for 90 bucks okay all right that's an all black one with a white midsole that's actually pretty dope actually a nice color and then of course we moved on to the ones on sale 50 bucks not bad 40 dollars off these okay i forget how much mesh material they use on this like this is totally a summer shoe that's probably why they're on sale like like how your feet would be freezing freezing <laughs> Then we get to the really good deals. It's like a Hustler Hacks colorway. Yeah, black and that, was that teal or aqua or turquoise? I don't know. But yeah, it reminds me of Hustler Hacks. And stuff. Yeah, another one for 40 bucks. I think this is my favorite color right here. Yeah, 40 bucks, $50 off. Not bad, you guys. Dude, got the Prestos. We've seen the Prestos on sale everywhere, so not gonna go over those too much. The Blazers, I'm just still, Man, I'm still surprised at how organized everything is. This is like weird. The drop types and stuff right there. The blazers, man. This is some solid material. I'm not a fan of that color, but solid material. Especially for so cheap. Bo Jackson trainers right there. Air Force ones right there. Nothing sticking out too much. They do have the all white ones and the all black ones. Really can't go wrong with those. Those are pretty dope. Got the Zoom Freak 2s up top. Zoom Freak 1s at the bottom. And yeah, the Zoom Freak ones, like we've seen those on sale like where 50 to $70. Those are going for 60 right there. And those are going for 80. And then we got the LeBron and the Kyrie's. All right, let's go check out the women's section. See what's going on there. Dang, I forgot to post this on Instagram, you guys. Look at this. They only have like a six and a half and a 10 and a half in the women's. But yeah, that's, that's a size nine though. That's not bad, size nine in men's. But yeah, these, these aren't bad. Not bad. It is a little more orangey than I, I like, so I'm glad I didn't pick it up because a little too orange for my blood. You can't really tell in the videos online, man. You just can't. But hopefully you guys could see the orange, the, uh, the black mesh on top. If it was like a reddish material underneath, that would just be fire, dude. Yeah, that would be fire, but... But yeah, there you go. Starfish Forge, guys. I'm, I'm so surprised to see these. That's, that's, that's insane. They do have quite a few Jordans. I love these. I can never find them my size though, because all the bigger ones are sold out, like most most of them's Jordans. Then they got the eight, the sixes, the sibling right there, the other sixes, the OGs right there. They got the Air Force Ones. Do got the Sage right here. Got, is that what these are called? Yeah, the Sage Lows. Um, Pretty much gives you like an extra inch on the bottom, like platforms, but the material is really nice. I just can't pay retail. Then got this too, like a suede new bucket material up top. The shadows, these are really growing on me. The shadows are totally growing on me with the double, double everything. Um, yeah, this, this colorway isn't the greatest, but some of the shadows, man, might have to pick one up. I, don't, I think they only come in women's though. So I might have to pick one up because. Yeah, the, the concept behind it is super dope to double everything that's just dope. Air Max 97s on sale. Tailwind, okay, we got some sales. More Air Max 9. Oh, did I call those the Air Max 98s? Air Max 98s on sale. Did I really call these Air Max 98s? I know people are yelling at the screen right now. My bad, you guys. But yeah, we've seen that on sale a bunch. Couple of Tailwinds. Yeah, I kind of like, oh no. Man, I'm tripping today. Couple of Daybreaks today. 
these are pretty decent another more than another version of the day breaks um i think i kind of like that one a little more i usually like black ones with the gum uh, actually i like both of them if the price goes down maybe maybe those might be worth copping so you got the infinity run reacts right here the waffle the crater fours we've seen those on sale everywhere now got pegasus turbos right there those are both fire i bought one of those for my brother-in-law oh shoot I, I missed this color infinity react runs or infinity run reacts oh dang we got a bunch of them on sale holy crap so yeah they're normally what a buck 60. so that was what 50 percent off this is what 60 dollars off then we got the winner a hundred dollars off hundred freaking dollars off that's insane dude. that's that's crazy you got an ultra boost on sale that's the only ultra boost here in the women's section though that's that's crazy i think adidas is coming out with the ultra boost 21s i think that's why we don't see any 20s and 19s anymore do you have some interesting stuff right here do we got these boots going for 30 bucks looks like it's warm as hell oh man looks like it's warm as hell though dude holy crap but yeah 30 bucks that fila is extra huge on the side holy crap got another colorway right there go for 40 dollars a little bit more they got some pumas it's like an interesting glittery texture to it are these ugg brand shoes these actually look decent too that's ugg brand that bottom is interesting kind of reminds me of those puma jadens the jaden jaden smith ones but this actually looks better than the jaden smith ones to be honest that's actually not bad for 60 bucks normally a buck ten it's like a canvas material on top do have some suede as well mostly suede a little bit of canvas okay feel the disrupts uh, 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 we're done all right we're gonna cover the kids section real quick and then we're gonna wrap it up i think we're gonna wrap it up and the kids section got all kinds of jays jordan fives do got the jordan five bel airs got the starfish 13 dark concord 12 reverse flu game i mean let's try that again Reverse food poison game. Jordan 12 Indigos. We got the Indigos here. So Jordan 4. I don't even know what colorway that is. It is a Jordan 4. I know it only came out of GS. I think, is this a toddler? Is this one of the small GS sneakers? But yeah, we got these bad boys. A Fire Red 5s. Super dope. And we got the 8s, man. Like, that kid's Jordan section section is crazy. Did I say section twice? Uh, I don't know. Old school Reeboks is actually pretty decent. Especially at $20, that's, that's hella cheap, dude. Hella cheap, oh wow. Those actually don't look that bad either. Got that old school vibe to it. I don't know why, but it reminds me of Back to the Future, even though he only wore Nikes, but still. Superstars on sale in the kids section. Got these, these are the hard courts, right? The hard courts, these are, don't look that bad. Then we got the high tops too. Jordan 34 is going for 60 bucks. That's actually pretty cheap. Zoom Freaks. Why not 0 0.3s? Yeah, nothing too special. So you got the Kybers right there. Bronze on sale. James Gang and the Oreos. And I think that's about it. Not really too, not really too much. That's interesting. We're gonna wrap it up. I think we're gonna wrap it up. You guys, I did cover the entire store, so yeah. All right, guys, that was the Foot Locker um, in downtown LA. I believe the address is what 749 South Broadway. Um, the Jumpman store is 620, so it's, it's just right down the block, pretty much. Apparently, I need to head out to downtown LA a lot more because, man, they got some deals. They got some deals, and, and the fact that they have the Chinese New Year 5s chilling there, and, and the fact that they got so many retros, like, I was just amazed. I was amazed. Like, it, it was kind of crazy. Some of the deals were decent. As we know, most of the retail stores haven't been providing the best discounts the outlets have been even worse to be honest but <laughs> but yeah the sneaker shops have been kind of kind of mediocre lately um this one actually had some deals like the the day breaks those were pretty dope uh the women's section had quite some sales um yeah well it wasn't that bad at all it wasn't bad uh better than most of the other malls and most retail shops that we have been to so uh yeah i was pretty pretty happy to be able to show that to you guys all right so some of you guys may notice that um yeah the the, the shelves are kind of empty in the back all those are my girls uh shoes and then uh it's all empty right here actually have some new shelving on the left as well actually might have enough shelves to pretty much have all my shoes up now 
So uh, since I am doing some reorganizing, I am finally going to come out with a collection video. Um, a lot of people have been asking. Um, finally, finally going to get to do it. Um, it's going to take a few hours, and I'm really not looking forward to doing so. But uh, since since the people have been asking, I will do my best to to get every sneaker that I do have and, and pretty much show you guys. I'm going to try to get that video to you guys by tomorrow. Um, I guess the next day, worst case scenario. But yeah, thanks so much for making it to the end of the video, guys. Definitely appreciate you guys um, make it to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, make sure you help your boy out, press that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys go ahead, press that subscribe button, and, and also click on that notification bell because I do drop a whole lot of videos. And yeah, see you guys in the next um, next few because you, you, you know I'm going to be out and about and, and you know I'm going to have plenty of videos coming up. So yeah, see you guys next one. Peace. Yeah.